Hey guys! Everyone who came across this video at 3 a.m. in the morning, those who somehow stumbled across it at another time, the two people who actually watched my videos, hello! Welcome to my video! <laughs> As you can tell, my audio is not cringy. I got a microphone. It was really cheap, and yet it works great. So, yay! <laughs> I'm poor. Okay, anyways, let's let let uh, let's get started. Today's video is going to be on how to improve your art. This is a question a lot of people ask. There are a million YouTube videos out there focusing on this one question. I've watched many of them myself. But there are a few main things that are guaranteed to help you. And I'm serious, these these are the things that will help you. These are the things that if you keep in mind, your art will improve. You may not see improvement automatically, but you will improve over time. Which brings me to my first tip. Practice, 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 practice. Draw every day. Well, you might say, I don't have time to draw every day. I don't care if it's a little smiley face in the corner of your paper. You can draw every day. Carry around a sketchbook. Carry around sticky notes. Carry, our, ca uh, carry around a 3 by 5 notepad and a pencil. I guarantee at some point during the day, you will have the time to fill one page. Even if it's just a bunch of lines that look cool together. Draw every day, you will improve. And this leads into my second my second tip, which is go back and look at your other drawings. We are our own worst critic and it's very easy for us to see what we think is wrong with the picture. I could spend 20 minutes telling you what I think is wrong with the picture I'm drawing right now. For instance, I can't draw legs or hands. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, go through and figure out what are the main culprits that repeat in your artwork that is making it not look the way you want. Is it that maybe all your drawings have a tilt? Your eyes are off. What is it? Figure out what that is and start working on it. Don't work on them all at once. Make a list. So say, say your eyes look wonky in multiple pictures. Practice on getting the eyes where you want them. Practice and practice and practice this until you can do it without thinking, basically. And then add another thing you want to work on. Maybe all your characters lean one way. Work on fixing that. And there can be multiple reasons why something is. Like, say there's a lean. Could be the way you're holding your paper. It could be the fact that you're using just your wrist instead of your entire arm to draw. It, it could be multiple things. So figure out what those are, work on them, and you will improve. One thing that I like to do is, like like I said, draw every day. So like make a goal to draw every day for a year. You will not see an improvement day by day. You won't. And if you do, good for you. That's awesome. But... If you think about it, usually when you draw, like, like if I think back to my drawings when I was like, I don't know, 13, I feel like I haven't improved much since then. I have. But I can only see that if I go back and look. So you draw every day for a year, then you go back and look at your first drawing compared to your 50th drawing compared to your 100th compared to your 365th drawing. There is going to be a significant difference from your 1st to your 356th. 
there will be an improvement. You just won't notice it until you go back and look. Because you slowly get better over time. It's a gradual change. It's like when you go back and look at look at your baby pictures or pictures of when you were like a little kid and you're like, was that me? Did I used to look like that? I feel like I've always looked the way I look now. That's because things... That's because your looks change gradually over time. Things happen gradually over time. That's how you improve and you get better. It slowly builds up. There is no magical cure for getting better automatically. You have to practice and you have to work at it. You can't be lazy. Oh, excuse me. You cannot be lazy about this. Um, another thing that is a trend in the art world I've noticed is I have to have the best, most expensive of all time art supplies or my drawing is going to look bad. That's simply not the case. If you type in cheap art supply challenge into YouTube, you will find great works of art. And it's not because of the art supply. It's because of the artist and their talent. It doesn't matter what mediums you use. It doesn't matter if it's the cheap or the expensive. It is your skill level. Yeah, sure, say if you're using Crayola versus Prisma. Prisma is easier to blend, but you can still blend using Crayola. It doesn't matter. It may take a bit more work. You may need to use different techniques, but you can still make the picture look good. And uh, Crayola gets a bad rap, mainly because it's, it's the school supply brand. Like, when I was in elementary school, you got a pack of colored pencils. Everyone did. And it was Crayola. It was always Crayola. The glue, the markers, the pencils, everything was Crayola. And and I think that's why it gets a bad rap, because it's like, oh, well, dinky little kids use that. I can't do something good with that. Yes, you can. Um, another thing that's good to remember is if you're switching mediums, your art is going... There, there's going to be a learning curve. So when I switch from traditional to... Um, Digital art, I still do a ton of traditional art, but when I, I, I do a lot of digital art now. And it was a huge learning curve. Because you have to draw the lines differently. You, you can use layers instead of just one flat piece of paper. It's different. It's interesting how, how one thing to the next can be so different and yet so similar. Like, I've, I've taken... Um, traditional drawings I've done and I've recreated them in the digital world and they looked very similar but they didn't have the same texture or quite the same feel as it did when it was in traditional because of how smooth things are on digital and stuff like that so you always have to remember just like you may think having this new medium is going to make me better there's going to be a learning curve there always is going to be a learning curve it might be a steep learning curve it might not be but there will be a learning curve you will feel like your art has gotten worse. It hasn't. It's just the learning curve that you have to work through. It may take a day, a week, a month, a year. I don't know. It depends on you. But if you can work through that learning curve, your art in that medium will get better. Um, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Um, let me know in the comments any suggestions you have for other videos, what you want to hear my thoughts on and whatnot, any tutorials you want. I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a, a animation tutorial, how to animate on Fire Alpaca, which is the program I use pretty soon. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment on this video, subscribe. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye!